so we're gonna do this car talk and it's gonna be like just a January recap overall because there's lots of things that have happened in the month of January that I feel like I want to talk about um the first thing is I have been sick twice this month once I got and the second time I don't know what I had but it's like food poisoning plus like very like a very terrible like headache but like down my spine kind of headache um which I guess isn't really a headache like a neck ache but like also like throwing up being sick just being really sick this month twice in a month when I went the entire pandemic not sick like I hadn't been sick in years like two years since 2020 and then I get sick the beginning of this month of January well the beginning of 2023 is crazy like I've been sick sick and I I haven't been that sick in a long time so that was pretty like mind-boggling I think the other big thing that's happened this month is postdoc interviews which I'm sure I'm not even sure the schedule of how these videos are gonna come out but you'll know as soon as I know um, I have been interviewing for postdoc I have been recording postdoc interview diaries so that will be coming out soon too um, but it has just been a lot of like big feelings about applying to postdoc. I think one of the main things that has been hard is like at the beginning and when I was, even when I was applying to postdoc, I was like, okay, I feel like I may not have the experiences that people are looking for based off of my experiences from applying to internship, right? So I applied to, I don't even remember like I don't know it feels like I applied to 15 places maybe maybe I applied to a little bit less than 15 but around 15 places and I got interviews at four of those places and I felt like I think I talked about this I felt like really disappointed because I felt like I had really good experiences and I've had really good experiences and like it it honestly felt like internship was not going to be for me and internship didn't want me um, if I'm going to be quite frank about it. Now, I have matched at the place that I think was best for me. And I think that was like divine intervention. And it wasn't my top place. And like, I'm, o I'm okay with that because I know sometimes like God will prevent me from getting what I think is the top place to give me what I actually need. And being at UF, I really, really need it. I have gotten phenomenal training here and I love it, love it, love it here. I love the people here. And when I look back at my notes about this place for internship, I loved it. Like I just had other places that were a little higher based on like location and uh, other things that I thought maybe I wanted to do more of, right? So all that being said, when I was applying to a postdoc, it has been a very just like scary process because I was like okay like if I had this hard of a time applying for internship is postdoc going to be much harder spoiler alert it has not been I applied to I would say like 11 positions I've gotten interviews at 10 of the 11 positions and I've only been outright denied one position and that position like I was like all right cool like I wasn't expecting to uh I guess I was expecting to get an interview there, but like I also wasn't like devastated because I got an interview at that same site for a different track. All that to say, I I feel like really good about where I'm at right now. And I feel like just applying to postdoc has just been weird. Like they're like, what do you want to do with your life? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Um, so yeah, I feel like that has been the biggest stressor of like trying to get acclimated from like being on holiday, being sick and applying the postdoc. Like I haven't had a typical week this entire month of January and it's January 26th, okay? So I'm going to be, um, I think next week is going to be my like first real week of the year, honestly. And I'm gonna count it as like that first part of, this first part of January was a trial run, honey, because that that shouldn't count as the start of my year um because i have been sick i have been down and out but you know like by god's grace like i'm still okay but it has just been a weird month and i think like applying to postdoc is just like i think something that me and my friend talk about a lot is like am i settling for what i think 
I deserve and like what I think I should get versus like me being very, very excited about X, Y, and Z, which I think in some ways I have been settling and that's fine. And I think it's just scary to think about not like think about applying and doing things that are scary. I think like grad school has been scary, internship has been scary, but like, I don't know, maybe I have just been like so used to being scared and like doing things to like get me to the next position where I haven't been really considering like what Tanisha wants. Um, and I'll and I'll also share this reflection. So there's a place I applied to for postdoc that is in my dream city. Like I have never, wanted to live in a place as much as I want to live in this place. It's in the South, but it's not too South. It's five hours from my parents, perfect distance. It has a lot of stuff in the city that I really want. It has a run club. I don't run yet, but I, I'm going to join this run club. Uh, it has a Hampton Alumni Association that's very on and popping. It has... Um, what else like it's just a black like young professional city and I really want to be there I I want to be there so bad and in my mind I applied to this postdoc that is also in that city and like I didn't feel as excited about the postdoc as I did about the city and I was like crap like this means that like this isn't right like it does it, it feels like a mismatch and I was like that means that like this isn't for me and like it felt like maybe the city isn't for me and I just been like really wrapping my head around like no Tanisha like just because you're not gonna move to this city for postdoc doesn't mean that you won't get to move to your dream city eventually so yeah that's really been where my head's been uh it's been a doozy of a month uh but i'm here i'm still standing uh and yeah i appreciate you all for like being here i'm i'm really on my consistent kick like that is what my word of the year has been consistency well it has been and what i think uh god has placed on my heart so uh i'm trying to be consistent with youtube as much as i can um I posted like two videos last week and I want to stick to my I want to stick to my schedule as like one video a week at least okay like some weeks there might be more I want to get consistent and start up my gaming channel and start up my twitch streaming I really want to and it's just it's so hard I need to be consistent with my dissertation and get that done my goal really honestly is to be done with my dissertation before in March like by March my goal really was to be done in December, but some other stuff just keeps coming up, like postdoc and postdoc applications. I had some consulting stuff come up, like it just other stuff been coming up. But I want to be consistent in my work ethic, and I want to work harder. And so I guess what that means is maybe I won't be on social media as much. Like I'll obviously consistency to me means posting on YouTube weekly, but I just might not be as engaged on other forms of social media, Facebook specifically. Instagram specifically Twitter's already going downhill very quickly so not there either but um yeah so yeah that is sort of <laughs> I just started rambling about my word of the the year the inconsistency but that's really where I want to be like I don't know if I'm gonna have to wait to like really kick off the channel until my dissertation is done or once I get into like a better schedule kick off the gaming channel rather um but I'm just, you know, I'm out here working and I, I feel like I got a little lazy in the beginning part of internship and now it's back. I want to be back to the grinding that I was doing in grad school, although I know it was not healthy. And now I felt like my best self. So uh, this lady just looked at me, so it's time to go. Okay. Uh, thanks so much for being here. I love you all so much. We'll let this truck pass. And we will see you guys next week. Peace out. Uh, I don't know what video will be next week, but you'll know as soon as I know. Bye. Oh, if you're still here to this far, leave a yellow emoji. I don't really like yellow, but like this color looks okay. So leave a yellow emoji and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.